In this video, we will explore the autosomal DNA results, predicted phenotype, traits, and GEED match results of an individual from Bolshoi Olini Ostrov, Big Reindeer Island, located in the Kola Peninsula in far northern Russia. This individual is female, with mitochondrial haplogroup U401. What makes this individual especially interesting is the fact that she is a representative of a people group who first introduced Uralic culture and language into Northern Europe. Her autosomal ancestry can be modeled as a mixture of local European hunter-gatherers, Proto-Indo-Iranians of Russia, and Bronze Age Siberians, such as Kra-001, who are the cultural and linguistic ancestors of Uralic people. This is what she looked like with my Nashakoto. She's predicted to have brown color eyes, snub shaped nose, and brown hair. Uh, she did not have even BH1, no blue eye haplotype 1, or any of the other blue eye haplotypes that follow. So, definitely very dark color eyes. Uh, with Snipper Free, she's actually also predicted to have brown eyes, white skin, and black hair. And with YSEC, she's also predicted to have pretty much the same phenotype uh, brown eyes, white skin, or light color skin, or like kind of light olive and brown or black hair. Okay, for eye shape, my eye shape predictor predicts her to have Amerindian or Native American eye shape. And let's talk more about her genotypes for coloring. She does have one of the derived variants in IRF IRF4's mutation that has to do with blue eyes, red hair, and pale skin. Uh, it's a pretty rare mutation for Europeans today, but it's super common in uh, in European hunter-gatherers. She does have one of the variants in tears, a variation that has to do with blue eyes and blonde hair. And this is kind of interesting because uh, it's actually most common in Mediterraneans. I wasn't expecting this variation. I wasn't ex expecting to find this variation in this individual. <laughs> She's got some genotypes in SLC24A4 that have to do with darker eyes and higher odds of heterochromia. But she also has some genotypes in SLC24A4 that have to do with li lighter odds and lower odds of heterochromia. Uh, according to her genotype in Asip, she's most likely got slightly darker skin tone than what's typical for Europeans, uh, but I think this kind of counteracts uh, her result with SLC24A5 and SLC45A2, so together uh, that adds up to maybe intermediate or olive skin tone. And she is heterozygous for EDAR, which is the gene implicated in East Asian facial traits, such as shovel-shaped incestors, epicanthic folds, so she might have had slightly or partly East Asian facial traits. She's got this genoset which increases her risk of boldness by seven times. So a genoset really means a collection of genotypes where you satisfy a certain rule. And if you satisfy this rule, uh, you, you, you satisfy the genoset. You have the genoset. And uh, she, does, she does have this genotype for increased risk of type 2 diabetes and obesity. She also had this genotype which uh, increases the risk of having high blood pressure if under the age of 50. And... Uh, Moving on to her genotype in DRD2's pro pro variation, she does not have any of the European no-go learner variants, so higher risk of schizophrenia, more dopamine D2 receptors in the brain, and less likelihood of being a no-go learner. She is heterozygous for Comte's Val-Met variation, which means Val-Met, one Val allele, one Met allele. And uh, this basically the connotations to this is that she's got intermediate uh, speed of dopamine reuptake, intermediate Comte enzyme activity, and therefore intermediate uh, levels of dopamine in the brain, so uh, maybe just normal in terms of phenotype. And when it comes to OXTR, she does have derived OXTR. She's got uh, the sociopath gene in OXTR according to this variation here. Uh, in EDAR, she does have EDAR. She's got one derived variant in EDAR, one East Asian EDAR. That's why it's heterozygous, as I've said previously. She doesn't have the European lactose persistence mutation. If she was a pure European, she probably would be lactose intolerant. But she's not. She probably has some other lactose persistence mutations from outside of Europe. She has this genotype for increased, or I mean decreased risk of myopia. And she's got this genoset which lowers the heart attack risk by two times, almost two times. And genoset, once again, a genoset is a collection of genotypes. You have multiple genotypes that satisfy a certain rule. That means you have a genoset. And she's, here it's two SNPs, and she seems to satisfy this rule for these two SNPs. So whatever two minor alleles she's carrying for these two SNPs, she's satisfying the rule for both of them. And because of that, she's got a much lower risk of a heart attack. Uh, and she's got this genotype. This is a genotype. This is a single SNP, right? A single variation. Uh, it's super rare, but uh, it, ca it tends to cause a higher risk of hypothyroidism. Moving on to polygenic traits, she's got an average risk score of coronary heart disease. Uh, she's got an average risk score of Parkinson's disease. Uh, she's got an average risk score of schizophrenia. Uh, she's got a high risk score of bipolar disorder. Uh, she's got a high risk score of body mass index, so fatter. 
and she's got a lower risk score of type 2 diabetes and she's got a average risk score of asthma and finally she's got an average risk score of stroke and this is what she scores with mzlpk16 and something i really want to talk about is a topic i've brought up in my Mediterranean ancestry in Uralic people video, right? So I was talking about the Mediterranean ancestry that's present in Uralic people, and somebody told me that uh, Chalmnivar and uh, Balshoi Lini Ostrov, their Mediterranean ancestry comes from the Anatolia Neolithic farmers. Well, these results, they completely disprove that, because G25 might not show it very well, but these results show it perfectly. There is no European farmer in this individual. All her southern or Mediterranean-like admixture is from the steppe. Uh, she's closest to Mansi with the oracle here, followed by Hans, followed by Selkups, and she's actually getting more as a mixture of Mansi plus various, um, seems to be Mansi plus various Native Americans, right? Ma Mansi plus Tlingit, but also Man Mansi plus Latvians and Sami, so pretty interesting result. This is her result with Eurogenes K13. Um, I see that she's scoring 36% Siberian, 10% Amerindian. Uh, that's quite a lot of East Eurasian admixture, but there is also a little bit of East Eurasian baked into the categories such as Baltic and North Atlantic. Uh, Northern Europeans have some affinities towards East Asians, and these categories are meant to represent Northern European genetic drift, so they have a little bit of East Asian baked into them. Unfortunately, the Oracle doesn't have references for uh, Man, Seas, and Hans. That's why she's getting mono as a mixture of various very ridiculous things such as Marie plus Chukchi or Marie plus Kariak. Um, both of these, Marie is a lot more southern than her, so she's uh, actually a lot more northern than this, than this model, hence why the distance is so high. And once again to anybody that was trying to claim that the uh, southern or Mediterranean admixture in these individuals from Balshoi Lini Ostrov comes from the Anatolia Neolithic farmers. Well, she's not scoring any ENF, she's not scoring any Anatolia Neolithic components. Instead, she's scoring 16.5% CHG. So, uh, and this is a trend we see with every calculator. The southern ancestry here is not from Anatolia Neolithic, the southern ancestry here is from CHG. And I know illustrative DNA will show you that she's scoring, that, that her southern admixture is from um, Anatolia Neolithic, that it's Barsen. That's simply not the case. Uh, G25 is simply not equipped to deal with these kind of admixtures, especially in European Neolithic. It's very poor at European Neolithic models. Her admixture is mostly Caucasus. For the Southern admixture, it's mostly Caucasus. And this is what you will see with every single uh, oracle. She's getting modeled as a mixture of Chuvash plus Selkup or Selkup plus Mardvin. If you don't know what Selkup is, Selkup is a Siberian group in, um, I think, Central Siberia. They're hunter-gatherer group in Central Siberia. Very uh, nomadic individuals. But... Uh, unfortunately, once again, this oracle does not have references for Mansi or Hans, which would be the closest population to her. This is what she scores with Dodicat K12B, and you can see the only southern component that she scores is Gedrosia. That's the only southern component she's scoring on this calculator, and it's a component that's meant to capture Iranian Neolithic or Caucasus hunter-gatherer drift. So, her southern admixture, we can settle this here with this video, the southern admixture in Balshoi Eleni Ostrov is from Western Asia, not from Anatolia. Uh, with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Chuwash plus Selkup or Chuwash plus Ket, once again, because the Oracle doesn't have references for Mansi and Hans. This is what she scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. You can see she's scoring 40% East Asian, but the dominant component in her ancestry is actually West Eurasian, according to this calculator. She's getting modeled as a mixture of Altaian plus Steppe in Neolithic. Uh, and Steppe in Neolithic is not EHG. Steppe in Neolithic is more like Hvalinsk. It's EHG plus a little bit of Caucasus admixture. So she's getting modeled as a mixture of Steppe in Neolithic and not EHG plus various East Asians such as Ganasan, Kalmyk, Mongol. Um, so she does have some Caucasus hunter-gatherer admixture. You can even see it with uh, Ancient Eurasia K6 Oracle. And this is what she scores with Gidrosia K3, half East Eurasian, half West Eurasian, pretty balanced split. Uh, and I'm, I'm expecting, I'm gonna make more videos about other Balshoi Leni Ostrov samples. I'm expecting this to be a general trend with all of them. Thanks for watching my video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And uh, you can download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Goodbye.